Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Nimue of the Lake. In this episode, I have a list of movies and TV shows that I have watched personally that I think would be great recommendations to anybody's Halloween watch list. But before I get into that, I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be starting a Nimue Spooktacular Halloween Countdown that starts tomorrow, so if you're interested in that, check it out. If anyone has checked out my channel, you know I read stories, so for the seven days leading up to Halloween, I'm going to be reading Halloween stories to get everybody into the spooky spirit. <laughs> Without further ado, let me go ahead and start with the movies, alright? The first movie I have to recommend is The Poloni Show. Now, if you know anything about Rick and Morty, it's created by Justin Roiland, who also created Solar Opposites. And funny enough, he is one of the voices of the three hosts, Leroy, Reggie, and Sharuse Poloni. Now, this movie mixes a bunch of different styles of animations. I picked out an Archer style, of course there's the Rick and Morty style, there's also Claymation, so there's a little bit of everything in there and it's pretty, I don't want to say PG because it has some ideals that are a little over PG, so maybe like PG-13, I'm not actually sure what the real rating is for it, but regardless, it is fantastic. I like this one a lot. The second movie that I want to recommend to you guys is the new Monsters movie, alright? And I am a huge fan of the original. I was so excited to hear that Rob Zombie was making a new Monsters movie. And it's a bit different for him. It's not like House of a Thousand Corpses or The Devil's Rejects because it's not all the gore and everything. It's more cheesy, if I'm honest, but his wife, Sherry Moon Zombie, stars in it, and oh, she's just gorgeous, and it's fantastic. It started off a little slow for me, but by the end of it, I was in love. Now, the third movie I'm going to recommend to y'all is something that I have been waiting for since I first watched the original Hocus Pocus, alright? Hocus Pocus 2 was directed by Anne Fletcher and Disney just came out with it and I cannot thank them enough. The child in me is so happy. This movie was great for how they showed the Sanderson sisters childhood and how they grew up and they brought the movie to a great end but they also set it up to make more of them and I'm not going to give any spoilers but it's definitely worth a watch if you've seen the original. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. I wasn't. I almost teared up and cried, but I'm not going to tell you why. Like I said, no spoilers, but definitely check that one out. The fourth movie I'm going to recommend to y'all is called Day Shift. Now, this one's on Netflix, and I overlooked it a few times before I watched it, I'll be honest with you, because Netflix has a way of not promoting their best <laughs> if that makes sense but I was not disappointed this one was directed by J.J. Perry and it stars Jamie Foxx, Dave Franco, Snoop Dogg along with many other well-known faces I thought the effects in the movie were amazing it was also really funny in some moments um, but I have to admit even though Snoop Dogg didn't play a lead role in this he had to be my favorite character so if you want something that's a little funny, but also pretty great effects wise for Halloween, check this one out. And I saved the best for last, okay? And whenever I say the best, I mean the best. I watched this movie four times in probably three days, and I did not regret watching it at all. Not even a little bit. Now, if you are a fan of the Alien movies, the Predator movies, the AVP movies, this one is for you, and it is called Prey. It was directed by Dan Trachenberg. I probably butchered his name, but, I mean, whew, it was good. It's back in the Native American times, and the face mask on the Predator is a little different, and I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but watch it. If you are a fan of Predators, watch it. You will not be disappointed. I'm waiting to see if they come out with another one personally. 
And that wraps up the movies I have to recommend to y'all. So now I'm going to move on to the TV shows. And there are a few animated on this list, but I think that you'll like them. The first one is Little Demon. And there's been a lot of controversy about this because of the satanic aspect of it. But for Halloween, let's be honest, you kind of want to see that. The show's main characters are voiced by Aubrey Plaza, Danny DeVito, and his daughter, Lucy DeVito, who plays his character's daughter in the show. So it's pretty awesome. It was produced by Atomic Cartoons. My family and I watch every episode. The characters, the plot have humor, but they're also entirely relatable if you can <laughs> if you can imagine relating to the Antichrist. So that one's very good. I watched it on Hulu. I'm sure you can find it on other platforms. The second show I'm going to recommend to you guys is Dead End Paranormal Park. And this one's been out a minute. It's on Netflix. And they now have two seasons. So there is a lot of material you can watch if you want something just to kind of binge watch in the background. But what I think is really cool about this show is it tackles a lot of the societal issues for the trans community. The main character is trans, born a woman, identifies as a man, and just the journey of the character is amazing. It's kind of got a Steven Universe vibe, but if you can imagine it with animated devils and demons and haunted theme park, I mean, you can't get much better for Halloween, right guys? The third show I'm going to recommend to y'all is the last animated show I'll recommend to everybody because I know not everybody likes animated shows, but this one is an adult comedy sci-fi series that addresses colonialism, propaganda, and hypocrisy. It is called Farzar, and it's another Netflix one. I'm a huge Rick and Morty fan, and if you're like me, this will be right up your alley. Though, I wouldn't recommend the show for small children, but there's a two-headed lady in it, it's a planet full of aliens, and let's be honest, the main character's a little bit of a doofus, but that's kind of what makes it funny. <laughs> the fourth TV show I'm going to recommend to y'all has been out a while, but they just came out with a new season, Oh, and if you've seen Buffy, and you know who I'm talking about, Willow is in it as a judge, y'all, and... <laughs> I'm not the greatest pumpkin carver and we carved pumpkins this year I didn't do fantastic I did a pretty basic pumpkin but I love to watch contestants carve these really elaborate pumpkins this one would be great to watch with the whole family and I do believe it is a Food Network show we watched it on Hulu but I'm sure you can find it elsewhere if you have TV I'm sure it's on TV but it's worth it if you like Chopped, if you like those Food Network shows, this one's for you. And the kids can watch it. I mean, yeah, they make up scary pumpkins, but how scary can a pumpkin really be? As always, I saved the best for last, alright? Now, I binge watched this show. This show is called The Midnight Club, and it's another Netflix show. But out of all the TV shows, this one is my favorite. You get the jump scares with the cult undertones, along with a sense of mystery. But the setting is in a hospice center, so you also get to follow the character's fear of their own morality, because as we all know, if you're in a hospice center, there's only one reason why. But it, it was great, and they tell scary stories. Alright, and I can't tell you any more without ruining it. I so want to. Maybe I'll do review videos over it. But for the recommendation, just look it up. Just watch it. You will not be disappointed. Alright guys, that's all I have for you for the movies and TV shows that came out this year. That would really compliment your Halloween. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the first spooktacular Halloween countdown story. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll just have to wait for tomorrow. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in to Nimway of the Lake. Happy Halloween.